Jude, you're up. Looking, more leaping. Uh, not so fast. What now? You really think we can beat Gaius and Muse like this? Don't tell me you're getting cold feet. I don't think that's what he's implying. Do we need to take care of any business back in Riza Maxia? We can go back? Yes. We can probably return to Riza Maxia from the temporal crossroads. Alvin has a point. We cannot expect help from anyone. In other words, we must be fully prepared. Right. We gotta think these things through. We're on our own after all. Good point. I'm with Alvin. We got a lot of stuff to do back in Rizzi Maxia. Ready, everyone? Last one in has to kiss Tipo! Hey, no fair! I, I love gotcha. Leia. No need to worry. We're all bound for the same destination. Oh, Rowan's a champion we'll too. We'll never get the knack for doing things as a group. Hey, it's worked for us so far. I guess you're right. Well, looks like we're up. <laughs> that is. Oh my God, this is so cool. It's so cool. <gasps> What? Hey, nice of you to join us. Either we ended up in a different place from last time, or it got a major remodel. Gaius must have used Maxwell's power to alter things here. Where's Leia? Where'd you go? I found another breach like the one we came through. Don't tell me you went in it. I did. It leads to Riza Maxia, so that's the wrong way. Then Gaius and Muse must be that way. This presents a dilemma. I assumed we would just be following the same path as last time. At your age, Rowan, never assume things will be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Well said. We have other dangers to contend with besides Gaius and Muse. Better keep our guard up. Let's go, everyone. Okay, so we have a choice. To so instantly go fight Gaius and Muse. Or go back to Rize Maxia. Going back to Rize Maxia. What the fuck is that? Don't you think you should go home? Even just for a quick visit? Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll do it. And when Mila toots the horn, he climbs right on board. No, that's not... I was planning to do it anyway. Whatever. I love Leia. What is that? Gaius has been busy keeping order in Rashigal ever since Noctigal died. I wonder what's going on back at his old castle in Kanbalar. Oh, hell yeah, let's go... Oh no, you motherfucker! Oh my god. The fuck, Mila? Here. We did it, Mila! We're the best! <laughs> hey, you can let go now. Hair of the Sacred Beast. What is that? Always. The Sacred Beast. Interesting. I'm still interested in the Devil's Beast, so I'm gonna actually go fight all of them back in uh, Rize Maxia. Mm -hmm. 
We're almost done with this game, man. It's been a crazy ass journey. You sure you don't need to stop by Niakara for anything? Actually, it has been a while since I've shown my face around town. I wouldn't mind seeing how everyone's doing. Well, when we have a chance, let's make the trip. Hell yeah. But what the fuck is this? You don't want to pay Balin a visit? Why? Are you hoping to hear one of his humiliating stories about my past? The more you bring it up, the more curious we get. Hell yeah. All divide. Wow, so those are like super awesome things. <laughs> Return to Rize Maxia? Fuck yeah! Now we go back. Sweet! This is great. This is great. This is really, really great. Can we see Ivor? <laughs> I kind of missed the dude. We got a lot of things to do. Um, my dudes, we got a lot of of things to do. Weapon shop. Yeah, me, um, Leia stole that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, so, um... 600 gold, not much. So let's just do let's do the, the let's do the laziest way possible and just go to Niakara and not walk all the way over there. Who the hell are you? Welcome home, Lord Maxwell. Where is everyone? They they were besieged by a spirit. Muse attacked this village after you died. She did what? I'm so sorry. I couldn't do anything. Nor could I. In that regard, I am no better. Tell me the extent of the damage. Of course. So she killed the elders. I feared that she might. You did? They were the ones who had heard stories of the schism. Muse said her duty was to kill everyone who knew about it. But the elders only passed down stories. They had no idea that they were true. There was no reason to kill them over it. I think Muse has lost sight of what she needs to do. We have to stop her. That is my duty. Yes, Mila. Yes, it is. All that remains of the Chimeriad is Wingle. I wonder where he is. Back in Kanbalar? Damn, so much shit, man. We should probably tell Prin about Agria. Yeah, it's the least we can do. I hope she's still at the medical school. There's so many side things that I have to do now. Like, I actually find it, like, appealing in regarding of extending the gameplay, but it's, it's actually really, really sad. The Chimeriad is fucking... Oh, the Chimeriad is basically fucking dead. Except for Wingo. I've been away for quite some time. Has anything significant happened here? Lord Maxwell, you've returned. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Ivor around lately. Do you know where he might be? Ivor? He must have run off somewhere without my permission again. That's probably because of me. Sorry about that. Hmm. I see. But I don't think that's something for you to apologize for. Indeed. It was the result of a showdown that needed to take place. Thank you. There's one more thing, Lord Maxwell. One of the young folk found this at the base of the Hollermont. It's a letter addressed to someone named Al. Al? That would be me. Is it from Pressa? No one saw who might have left it? No, there was no sign of anyone at all. Go ahead. It sounds like it's for your eyes only. Dear Al, I, I never, never expected, expected that, that you would return, return to me. me. As someone who has endured betrayal her whole life, to have my expectations betrayed so sweetly was, for once, a great kindness. But if you're reading this letter now, it means that in choosing to live my life as Pressa, I have chosen to betray you. I am truly sorry. Pressa, 
Alvin! Let's go. <gasps> Is she still alive? Please, God, let her be alive. Please, please, please. Press's team was wiped out because of information I acquired by deceiving her. And yet, the last thing she said was that she was worried about me. Me. The guy who cost her everything. Somehow she knew I would go back to you all. I can't believe it. You can stay here for as long as you need. But come back when you're ready. We'll wait for you. I'm going to keep at it. I'll protect all that you've given me. Goodbye, Jill. That was always my favorite name, you know. Her name was fucking Jill, dude. Dude, that is so fucking sad. Wow. No, so... Oh, man, that means they really are dead, man. I don't like that. I really don't, man. Oh, but that's really cool. Um, Pressa actually leaving a note. Damn, Rowan, you 65? Pressa leaving a note to Alvin in the Neo Kara Holomont. And just... That's really cool, dude. He ran back to the spot where she died. That's I, I actually really really like that. Dudes, we got a lot of stuff to do. So Ivor's not here, which is kinda sad. Remember the first time when we came here to Neo Kara? We stole those fucking we stole those damn uh those like egg shaped things. <laughs> Great. Sean, do who? Laron, do we want? We gotta go to Sheraton, don't we? Yeah, we gotta go to Sheraton because of the uh, the two kids. Oh, I missed this theme song. There they are. Fucking ah! Crazy people. I got it. Oh my gosh! It's a pink emerald. I can't believe you actually got one. We did as you said. Are you going to show us the cute pink thing now or not? What's your name? Elise. Well, you beat us fair and square, pro pinkest Elise. Super fair and square! Thank you. Come with us. We'll show you the cute pink thing. The hell just happened? So this is it. It's, it's so adorable. cute! I've never seen anything so pink and cute before! I can't believe how pink it is! Super pink, right? Here, Elise, this is for you! Congrats on becoming a pro pinkist! Thank you! You did it! That was a well-earned victory. Thank you for all the help. I'm sorry I got you involved in this. Don't worry about it. But I am curious what the cute pink thing was. I, uh, I can't tell you. It's a secret shared only among pro pinkists. You! It is? When you put it like that, it makes me super curious. <laughs> You're starting to sound like them. But we still won't tell you. <laughs> I think becoming a pinkist has been good for you. That is awesome. We got a fucking wand out of that. That is so cool, dude. Oh my god. It's actually pretty strong. By a hundred. A hundred points. That is really cool. Well, not a hundred points. Like 90s. Oh my god. Look at it. Look at this wand. <laughs> That's really cool. Remember that naturalist who was researching changes in spirit climbs? Ah, yes. Perhaps he's completed his research. Yeah, we should go visit him back at the Central Plaza. This is so cool. The Central Plaza. Where's the Central Plaza? No, that's not it. The Central Plaza is this way. 
I love Sheraton. Like, it has to be one of my favorite places out of all of um, this game. I don't know why, it's just really, really cool looking. Oh, uh, hello there. I've got the results of the examination data. So the art we used at Bermia Gorge came in handy, huh? Oh, yes. Now, after reviewing all of the data, I have determined that there is a clear link between spirit art usage and nearby spirit climb changes. As the scale of spirit art usage grows, the changes in the climb become more pronounced. So the recent topographical changes in Bermia Gorge are due to the increased spirit art usage in Sheraton. That's right. I saw the same kind of data with Fenmont's expanding night climb as well. At our current usage scale, we should only see minor alterations. But, if we keep developing new spirit arts, we may be facing irreversible changes to our spirit climbs. Like the whole world going dark? That is a remote possibility, yes. So even if we stay inside the schism, there's a chance that Riza Maxia could end up just like Olympias. I guess even spirit arts have their drawbacks. It all depends on how we use them. If all we seek from spirit arts or spyrex is to maximize convenience, then of course we'll see repercussions. I agree. But at least this news comes at the right time. Yeah, if we open the schism and reshape the world, surely human awareness will be reshaped as well. The question, of course, is in what way. But nothing will change at all if we don't act. You're right. For better or worse, this is the path we've chosen. Sweet. Now... Oh, let's go. Now we got... Now... Where can we go? Um... Fenmont. Let's go to the medical school. Oh, Fenmont. So gorgeous. This town is my second favorite. Like, it's just really, really amazing looking. Is it me or where the building's always blue? I'm so, like, lost. Medical center is this way. What's up, old man? Fenmont. Beautiful fucking place. Very, very gorgeous. Very gorgeous scenery. Her name is Prin. Da da da. I don't care. Oh, the door's right here. Moron. Prin, I'm glad to see you're still here. By all rights, I shouldn't be. Not after I betrayed Rashigal to its enemy. But with the world as it is now, we're getting scores of injured patients every day. At the very least, I wanted to fulfill my obligations as a nurse. That is truly admirable. Fortunately, conflicts between the nations of Riza Maxia are the last thing on anyone's mind now. Yeah, especially now that Gaius is running Rashigal too. Yes, I talked to King Gaius myself recently. He told me that Miss Nadia was dead. So you knew? Yes. He was kind enough to tell me personally. I was shocked that he even knew I was Lady Nadia's lowly servant. That is most impressive. I'm sorry, Prin. I wish we could have done more to save her. You don't need to say that. To be honest, it was painful seeing Miss Nadia filled with such contempt. I know this may sound horrible for me to say this, but part of me is glad to know she's finally freed from her hatred, even if it's through death. I've seen her truly smile when she held Bobo. Seeing that made her usual misery all the harder to bear. Prin, I'm sorry. It's never easy, is it? It's really, really sad, you guys. It's really sad. For, for just some reason, it's really, really sad. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so now let's go ahead to Laron. We're gonna do all these little things um, first, and then I'm gonna go head off. Please, calm down. We need to deal with this rationally. Mom, what's going on? Jude, there's been a cave-in at the mine. What? But I thought the mine was closed. Not anymore. We thought we'd found a new vein, and we were just beginning to explore it. Was there anyone trapped inside? Well, one of our miners is trapped, and... And your father. Dr. Mathis? Jude, what should we do? We'll save them, of course. We're rounding up people to head to the mine right now. Wait, if you rush in there without knowing what caused the first cave-in, you could get caught in one too. We know it's dangerous, but we owe Dr. Mathis our lives. Which is why he wouldn't want you to waste them on a suicide mission. <sighs> first, we'll go check out what happened. Don't worry, I've been through that entire mine. Jude is right. Let us handle this. Okay, be careful in there. Holy fuck. Quickly, to the Felgana mine! Please let Dad be okay. Oh shit, okay. Um, I'm actually gonna stop it right here, you guys. Yep, cliffhanger. 